Happy Tuesday, everyone. Let's take a look at five things you need to know for your morning. It's still too early to tell if an education program in Michigan is unconstitutional or not. Education leaders fear my leap could overlap the board's responsibility to oversee public education. So it's an executive order through Governor Whitmer. It's not in effect yet. Uh, but Attorney General Dana Nessel says there's only a potential for that department and the State Board of Education to overlap. Today, Environmental Protection Agency in Flint holding a public meeting to discuss the redevelopment of the former Buick City site into a new commerce center. There's a Q&A. The meeting starts at 530. It's at the Hasselbring Senior Center. Three people arrested following a standoff in Saginaw. Saginaw police sell us a car stolen Monday morning. Police say canines tracked the suspects to a house on Elm and Greenwich, what they have broken into. They say be sure to stay here with us on TV5, on air and online as investigation does continue. There's a community engagement meeting at the Flint Township Police Department where you could check out fire trucks and just some great things that the Flint Township Police Department is doing. The fire department will be there. It starts at 6 p.m. It's on Norco Drive in Flint. Walking for healing and liberation, Girl Trek Saginaw hosting a welcome walk tonight. Girl Trek is a campaign that aims to heal international intergenerational excuse me trauma fight systemic racism and transform black lives the welcome walk is tonight at five this will be in dr rufus bradley senior park on james avenue to sign up go ahead to the hot link section of our website wnem.com a youth center in